Right, I was uh, planning on going to Dartmoor tomorrow, uh, but due to mum not feeling very well the last couple of days, I feel it's more prudent to stay in the local uh, vicinity. So I'll keep an eye on, uh, on, on mum. And then over the next uh, few weeks or the next month, I'll uh, try and get down to Dartmoor then. But I always like to pack my pack um, at least two days before I go so that I'm completely organised and there's no last minute uh, rushing. So there's one thing I absolutely hate and that's uh, rushing at the last minute. So I've got a completely packed bag here. So what I thought I'd do, rather than just unpack it and stick it all away, I'd unpack it um, on a video, uh, so I'll do an unpacking video rather than a packing video. Mind you, of course, if you live in Australia, or if you uh, you know reverse this, then you'll get a packing video, I'm sure. So let's just have a quick look at what we've got here. Okay, so if we start on the outside of the pack, obviously this is the Mountain Laurel Designs Exodus FS. Um, with the frame uh, built into the back. Um, yes, I have filled it up for uh, one night, but there's not that much in there as you'll uh, see in a minute. So I'll just start on the outside. Um, that's the Dartmoor map. Um, normally I would keep compass in there, but that's, I haven't put it in yet. That's upstairs ready. Uh, in this side pocket, I've got my Mountain Laurel Designs uh, Event uh, waterproof mittens, and I do like those. On the back, so I can keep an eye on weather and things like that, I have a, a silver ADC Pro uh, weather uh, gadget, and then <clears throat> On this side, I have one spare, uh, one bit of pole, because uh, my plan uh, was to take the super mid this time. Um, well, we all know what that's for, so we'll just drop that in there. And then in the front, I have put the uh, a small half size piece of the Thermarest uh, Z light and that straps onto the front and that's about torso length so that would give a little extra protection under me and uh, a gorilla pod. I haven't really used yet, but it's so light I take it. And the super med, which fits in this pouch here, and does it fits down in there. Two platypus bladders. And two bungs to go on the poles, top and bottom. Thank you, Gizzy. Oh, and in this pocket here, and I'll probably leave these in here actually, I've got four uh, nibbly chewy bar type uh, things. I've, oops, I've already shown you a video on the water containers. In the top, I have the pegs, bag of pegs, some, oh, a little bit of cord. Um, there, there is a reason for the cord. Uh, a large tent stake, which is really an emergency or for digging a latrine. Some bungee cord will be 
uh, I'll tell you about that later, and spare Dyneema cord. Sunglasses, probably don't need, but that's one thing I'll always take is glasses. I always take my sunglasses. Torch. And uh, this actually I put in the top for the simple reason I forgot to put it inside when packing. And that's a spare battery for my phone, um, headphones for the phone, and a spare memory card for the camera. And that's everything in there. Alright, now everything else is now inside. At the very top, in uh, naturally, a mountain oral designs, uh, Cuban fibre stuff sack. Here's my PhD down, uh, hooded down, uh, zipped top or coat. Busy playing everywhere here. Look, is it go over there? Next in. Here's my first aid kit, don't play with the Cuban fibre gizzy. Um, then I've got my uh, bivvy, which I really put in as an emergency item. Yeah, thank you gizzy, don't put your paws on that. Uh, cooking pots in there. Cooking equipment in there. We've of course seen videos on those. That's my waste uh, pod sack and in here I have uh, two, ba two bags for uh, my feet if I need them. I've got them in there actually. Uh, toilet paper and wet wipes. So that's uh, that's that bag there. This bag is my food for two days. And I'll just uh, quickly open this up. Oh, I put that, my pillow in there. Just I haven't been concentrating properly the last couple of days. I had things on my mind, I think. Uh, but I put my, forgot to put my pillow in earlier on, so I just put that in with the food. Uh, and then just in the food bag, yes, I know Bess, I know, I'm trying to do a video Bess, this is, this is not a gizzy video, and it's not a Bess video. It's only because it's food. Can I have a sniff, sniffy sniffy? Oh, she says, oh, beef. Yeah, and it is supposed to be beef, it's not horse, over. No, then, right. <laughs> no, you're very beautiful. So, tea. Um, in there. So you've probably seen that pouch before. Coffee Mate, or Marvel actually, tea bags, sweetener. And that makes my tea. And then that's my evening food. So I've tea bags up in there. Two potatoes, uh, two meals, and uh, two bars and things. And then right down the bottom. Bess, go back. Nobody can see you through there. Go back. Come on. Okay. Uh, that's my breakfast. Um, porridge there. And one chewy bar. I haven't put much in there because again for this walk, whenever I actually get to do it, um, I'll be parked close to the car. So while I'm close to the car, it's not worth taking a lot of food for the second day. Then the next item is inside a large human fibre stuff sack, and that's my bag of uh, clothes for night time. So that's that's what I would have 
for evening wear. Uh, one jumper. Dry pair of socks. Down hat, PhD down hat. Uh, leggings from Chockfish. Chockfish gloves. And PhD down booties. So that was all in there. And then the rest of the pack, half of it, is my. Oh, hang on, that's the other thing. That's my fixing um, repair kit. And that's my wash kit and small towel in there. And then the last thing takes up part of this bag and on this occasion I put in another large Cuban fibre dry bag here's my sleeping bag we'll lock out so that's one Effectively double bagged, and that's the sleeping bag. Oh, and then of course the last thing, uh, because this is the framed pack, my sleeping blow-up sleeping mat mat in my frameless pack would just go on the back, but of course in this one it fits. Uh, down inside the pouch down in there which hopefully you can see uh, there. I was going to try the uh, Thermarest uh, X-Therm uh, sleeping mat. So, so I'll just leave that down in there, there's no point in getting that out. And that just fits in there and it's nicely protected in there. So just do that back up. So that's an unpacking video and then one day in the summer when I've got the time and the inclination to do it, I'll, uh, I'll do a, a packing video as to how I, I'll probably be taking a bit left. Oh, on this trip this is hiding at the bottom. I was going to take uh, a large sheet of polypro uh, brown sheet and this. This is the first time that you've ever seen this so I'm going to keep this pretty quiet for the moment. Uh, but this is a new uh, lightweight brown sheet that I have. Uh, but this is rather special and rather different so I'll talk about this another time. This is a one-off. I don't, don't suspect that there are any others um, of this. And I'm not going to say which company it came from. That's a secret, but I'll let you guess. So that's everything. And as I say, I'll uh, talk more about some of this stuff another time. I hope that's of interest to you. And thanks for watching. Catch you again. Bye. Oh, I'll okay. get too old, Bess. We're getting too old for this, Bess. Right now, then, where's the power button? Press that red button and bang!